Hey friends, Fargo here, and welcome back to Buford's Big Adventure. Alright, having a coffee at 10 in the evening, let's go. Oh, that's some cold coffee. Alright, so we're back with Buford's Big Adventure. Uh, today we're going to be trying to figure out this cog building task, because this is something that I've wanted to take care of for a while now. So we're going to do this cog building task, because if you remember last time, we weren't able to get the building because the Tunis Cougar didn't work out so well. So we're going to try and do that, but... Uh, we have Wade at Toon Headquarters. Looks like we're going to have to talk to him, and we're going to have to finish this section of that task. We also need to get those Gladhanders and Lawbots, so we'll want to try and do that. Uh, if we can get these Executive Cogs done before the day ends, <laughs> because I'm doing this pretty late in the day, uh, we could probably do that. Uh, and we'll, let's see. Hold on. Oh yeah, we have Gag Points. We have Gag Points, that's right. Guys, remember, I have a Gag Point. If you guys want me to save it, just let me know. If you want me to spend it on a prestige, then that's good too. We're going to talk to Wade now, though. So it's been a good while since I've done with these, so I'm going to have to remember. Okay, so done already. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so they, they wrote a report, apparently. we got to go to the Sea Crab Center. So we got to go talk to Ahab. Uh, he's a monkey now, which is interesting. Uh, but we need to get our lure up this episode. I wanted to try and get our lure up because I think we just got it uh, in Toontown Central. So we want to try and get it. Oh my gosh, Hollywoods. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, that's an EXE. We do need EXEs, but we're not going <laughs> to... I don't think we're going to be fighting that. Uh, how about we go to a district where no invasions can spawn? Because remember, we are now in the territory in which we can get invasions, because if you remember, uh, in Toontown Central, you actually don't get the invasion cogs, but you get the boost in Toontown Central, which is interesting. Oh, our catalog is here. I didn't realize, so let's go and do that real quick. Then we'll get right into it. That's right, we did get the St. Patrick stuff. Uh, I hope everyone had a good St. Patrick's. I have a feeling we're going to be talking about seasons quite a bit throughout the series, so I might as well get it out of the way. Uh... Actually, I don't eat. I want to save these 3,000 jelly beans, but I kind of want to get some of these. Let's see. Okay, we have surprise. Let's get laugh, haunt, furious. And we're not going to buy any of these items, I don't think. I do want this crown. Someone did say in the comments that they wanted King Buford, so I, <laughs> I'm going to try and see what I can do about that. Uh, the month is ending soon, so I'm going to have to do that quick. Uh, I don't know if this is... I don't know if the accessories will stick around uh, into April, but we'll see. Uh, that took a lot longer than I thought it was. Hey, there's all of our animations. We got all our animations on the side here. Uh, oh yeah, we got... Right, we got... I got it. I love that phrase. It's so simple, too. Like, what do you got? Yeah. Okay, so he's at the very end of the street. Uh, I don't exactly remember what he wants us to do, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be fairly easy. I don't think it's going to be a building. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a building like the task we have with us at the moment. Uh, which we, we do want to do this episode, hopefully. Uh, so we'll see if we can't grab a group. I might make a group for this three-story, actually. Here, let's actually do that. Okay, so we'll talk to him. Alright, he wants us to fight six cogs, so how about we just... Uh, let's see... I want to make a group for this three-story cashbot building, but at the same time, I want to make a group for, like, a lawbot building. I feel like that would probably be better for me. Oh, but hey, look, a lawbot building! <laughs> Is it, um... It's two-story. Uh, oh, hey, look, a three-story! <laughs> Alright, let's let's throw this on. Is this the Street? Alright. So, hey, let's do this. Uh, let me just make sure I'm up-to-date on my character here. Three-story lawbot building... No one's with me at the moment. Alright, I think we're ready. Oh, we already got somebody. Look at that. Well, hey. If we can get maybe another person, then we could do this building. That's pretty exciting. Now, I I think this is absolutely going to be Buford's first three-story. Uh, I don't think we could necessarily trio it. Actually, you probably could trio it. Uh, Buford doesn't have sound, and I think the only... Uh, gag that this person and I synergize with is Squirt, so that's unfortunate, but that's okay. I see some interesting characters passing me by here. Uh, Professor Winklepop and Ned. 
It's unfortunate that they're not looking for law bots. Uh, I would have taken them on. But hopefully we get our person here. I think we're probably definitely going to get our law bots in this building. Um, I remember I was doing buildings on one of my other tunes and I think a three-story allots at least 11 cogs or at least eight, you know. <laughs> there's probably going to be two on the first floor and there's probably going to be two on the second floor and then four-ish on the third floor. So I'd assume at least eight, even if there isn't a, like two people on the first floor there's likely going to be at least five on the on the third floor because either the boss will spawn alone and then there there will be four cogs that come out or the boss will spawn with four or three other cogs and then like three come out you know so it's really hard to discern these buildings it, it all depends on what cog goes into the building and that kind of determines what's going to be in the building I believe the cog that goes into the building is always the either the first cog that is on the first floor or it's the last like boss cog. I, I, I've always had that flip-flop but I never really cared to look that up. Oh, hey, there they are. Look at that. Oh, they're very stylish. How about we say something friendly? Do I have like your style? I like your look. <laughs> I love this game. Every interaction I've had has been a nice interaction. Now I'm wondering, we could probably run this just as me and her? But I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I mean, their gags are really good. Uh, I probably don't stand much of a chance, but this person does have tune-up. Which will probably help in the long run. I mean, they don't have tune-up for themselves because they don't have prestige tune-up. But, I mean, what's the chance that they get so low that they can't even manage? I kinda wish I had friends on <laughs> all tune for There's no friends in my list! Oh, that's so sad. I was gonna say, I could probably call on a friend, but... I don't think Beaverd has any friends. So, uh, what is this person? What is this person looking for? Oh, they gotta fight the CFO. Oh my gosh. Good luck with that. I feel like their fog is good enough for the CFO, uh, especially if it's prestige. Then that's like really good for the CFO. So I don't think they'll have any problems with that. Oh, oh, we got another person. <laughs> their only gags are lurid sound. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of awesome <laughs> that's like the anti-tune i love that not only do they hinder themselves but they also hinder themselves because they have lure and sound so if they lure the cog and they sound the cog <laughs> it's like it's completely chaos it's just chaos so we're probably just gonna go with doggy and fat jelly roll because this is definitely way more than we need for a three-story building <laughs> I mean, given Buford is really, really low, but I'm, I'm, it's going to be fine. All the cogs are going to target Buford, but that's perfectly fine with me, I think. There he is! Oh, we're going. We're trioing. Yeah, we definitely, we're definitely good enough for a trio. Given... Uh, uh, these tunes are really, these tunes are really, really good. It's people like this that really make this community great, because these people don't have to be here. Like, Fat Jelly Roll does not have to be here. They're fighting the CFO. Like, that's completely on their own terms. What they're doing here is completely up to them. And this person, okay, this person needs six cog buildings and three four-story buildings, but we, we don't, this isn't a three, or, this isn't a four-story, uh, excuse me. Uh, let's go with, like, that, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I can't do anything. So, yeah. Thank you for being considerate, though, doggy. I appreciate it. Okay, the sound can miss. The sound... <laughs> Demu. Demu. <laughs> they were probably saying, uh, and then they accidentally spaced it. Like, dang. That's probably what that was. 
Hopefully you guys give me sound though, because then I can actually combo with these guys. <laughs> oh, we got an ambulance chaser. All right. Well, hey, if they want to take this cog out, they can. I guess that works too. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that. You guys go ahead and do whatever you want. You guys do, do whatever you want. Whatever you want is okay with me. I'll consider it. I was thinking it was gonna sound, and then the the throw would just defeat the cog. But I I really like this dog. He's thinking about Buford. Yeah, he's not gonna get any corporate raiders in here, but that's okay. Uh, I guess just so long as he gets these buildings, he's happy. Uh, his gags are pretty good too. He could probably do the CFO with these gags, but maybe get that squirt up, I'd say. Alright, we're going. Going to the second floor. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> I just realized I have zero out of three. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, needle nose. One of the weakest cogs in the game at the moment. A needle nose. Uh, I don't know if this was supposed to be like a support character. The support cog. But their health is the worst out of a tier what? A tier four? I think it's a tier four. Uh, it's just really bad. But, hey, I'm glad that the, we're using Squirt, and the cat can use Squirt too, or not. Uh, the cat does have Squirt, right? Yeah, the cat does have Squirt. Maybe they're really close on their, like, birthday cake or something. Granted, it was overkill, but, you know. Uh, hey, look at these cogs. They could sound these cogs, and I could just... I don't want to call out shots just because, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, the, I'm the baby toot here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do that. You guys do whatever you want. You guys could sound it. Just double bugle. Yeah, double bugle. Come on, double bugle. You got this, cat. Yeah, double bugle. Uh, this is not going to kill the four, I don't think. Yeah, this is not going to kill the four, so... Yeah, that was, that was the correct thing to do. And then Buford gets to use his drop! Yes! Oh, it hit too. That's awesome. Alright, one more cog out of the elevator? No, we're done. Okay. So yeah, as predicted, like, three cogs on the bottom floor. Three cogs here, so that's already six. So we're probably going to get four, maybe five cogs on the top. It might end up being a, what, a barrister? A barrister or an, or, or an advocate, I think. What? It's a double talker. A level six double talker. Okay. That, that was unexpected. I thought it was going to be way higher. Just judging on the cog composition. All right. They got this. They can fog it, I think. They can fog it. Or yeah, that works. I think fog would have killed the double talker. But yeah, that works. That works. I overkilled it, but that's okay. Buford's here to trade, not to be uh, accurate with his gags. <laughs> now, I'd be accurate with Fargo, but, like... No, it missed! You gotta do the cry. This is tragic. Alright, three cogs? Yeah, three cogs. And they may as well just sound it, I guess. I mean... Uh, I mean like that. That works. Or how about... Okay. Um... I'm gonna sound it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just sound it. Here. I'm gonna hold off on typing this because I think... There's going to be one more cog out of the elevator. Nope, okay. Alright, let's, let's type it out. Let's type it out. Thanks for the help, guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys so much. Like, that cat did not need to be here. And that just, like, makes me so happy, dude. Unless it was a, like, daily task that they had to do. Then, yeah, you know, but, like, this it was irrelevant to their main task line. So, uh, props to you, cat. 
Fat Jelly Roll, good tune. And Doggy too. He's, he's looking for buildings, so I give him that. He's looking for buildings. But Fat Jelly Roll did not need to be here, and I appreciate you so much. Best of luck on your CFOs. I appreciate you so much. Uh, okay, so we'll turn it in on Seaweed Street then. And we can also turn in the other task too. So where is this person? Oh, they're right here. <laughs> they're actually right next to the building I was doing. Okay. Consider yourself lucky. The building's gone. Thanks for the business. All right. All right, hi, Tumbles. You're just going to instantly talk to me, okay? <laughs> All right, Tumbles. I, you're very urgent, and I appreciate that. All right. Totally nautical, dude. <laughs> yep. All right, the surf's up. And that means we go for a swim. That's right. Just dunk yourself into the water, and then come right back out. And look at all that free experience. That almost got us a level. That was awesome. Yeah, seashells, too. Perfect my collection. Let you guys read that. See you around. All right, we've unlocked the new profile pose. And then we get 200 jelly beans. That's pretty good. Uh, how much jelly beans you got? That's actually a pretty decent amount of jelly beans. Uh, so now we can grab another task. Uh, we'll probably want to turn into Ahab real quick. Just so we don't spend too much time fiddling with these side tasks. Uh, I'll want to pick up... I think we already picked up the Lobot task, so we, we're fine with that. Uh, I want to pick up this task on the left here. Uh, it's pretty quick, I think. Actually, that's on Barn... Uh, was it Buccaneer Boulevard? So we'll want to pick up the Buccaneer Boulevard task. Uh, I don't think we picked that one up yet. But I'm going to talk to Ahab. Ooh! Uh, Gladhander. We need Gladhander, so I'm going to stop here and grab a Gladhander real quick. Hi, Fox. <laughs> Hello, Fox. They're just watching me fight. What the heck? Yeah, we did it. Oh, we got a propeller. Sweet. Okay, I kind of got to like sit down and read some of this. Okay, so we're a true pirate now. And now that we're a true pirate, we get the pirate hat, I think. Here. Oh, oh! I think we go to Topsy Turvy, and then we get the pirate hat. Actually, so we're getting outfitted for a pirate hat at the moment. So we we'll want to talk to Topsy Turvy. I think they want us to fight Double Talkers. I think this is the part of the uh, story where we get Double Talkers. So they're on yeah Lighthouse. So that makes sense. Oh, so we'll want to get our gags real quick because we will be fighting Double Talkers. Uh, so we'll go ahead and, uh, I don't remember why we're fighting Double Talkers. I can't remember what we're getting from the Double Talkers. I just know we're fighting Double Talkers. So let's get our gags. So we'll want to talk to the person on Buccaneer Boulevard. Uh, I can't remember if there's anything else that that person wants us to do. I think they want us to get a treasure chest, but that might be my memory serve me wrong because there's actually two instances in this playground that you have to get treasure chests from the trolley game, so... Uh, I'm not entirely sure when that happens. I know Melville. Melville actually wants you to collect two treasure chests. And a side task uh, wants you to get a treasure chest as well. And I think it's probably uh, this one. But I'm not entirely sure. So we'll have to see. But this is the building we want to go to. So we'll go ahead and talk to Topsy Turvy in this building. Let's see. Welcome to the size hat store. They specialize in headwear. So we want a pirate hat, and to get the pirate hat, we need thread from a double talker. Okay. I don't know why the double talkers have thread, but interesting. So we'll want to look for a double talker. Hey, here's one. I will say the double talkers are probably my favorite. Just these cogs in general. Aside from, like, the backstabber, I think the double talker is up there. Uh, one of my favorite cogs. Oh, hey, we've killed a hundred cogs as Buford. Sweet. Oh, we got it instantly, so we can just go turn it in now. Uh, alright. Hey, that's a lot of experience, wow. My gosh. These tasks really give you a lot of experience. Alright, so we got the hat. So now we just have to go to our mail and grab it. But before we do that, let's go talk to the person on Buccaneer Boulevard. Uh, we need to grab a side task from there, as well as turn in a task, so. I think that person wants us to do two more things, maybe just one more thing. I can't remember it's, if it's the uh, treasure chest thing, but we'll see. Alright, hey, Frishy Frank. Treasures from Barnacle Boatyard, that's right. Okay. Alright, so yeah, that's that's correct. So we did get our thing in the mail, so we'll want to do that after this. Once we talk to the rabbit, we'll be able to do that. What's the percentage of Lobots on the street? 10%. We're seeing a lot of Lobots on the street. 
I saw at least three back there. What does this person want us to do now? Oh, we're looking like a first mate already. Yep. Buried treasure, that's right. So yes, this is this is the side task where we get treasure chests, that's correct. So uh looks like our our tasks are looking pretty simple now. Uh, we'll just want to fight some gladhanders and I guess we're just gonna fiddle around in the playgrounds, to be honest. Uh, we'll wanna go home, get our pirate hat. Should we wear the pirate hat? That's my question. Should we wear the pirate hat for the remainder of uh the remainder of Barnacle Boatyard? How does it look on Buford? Here. Oh, that's cursed. <laughs> I don't know. This hat needs to be retextured. Absolutely. Look at that. The textures are so blurry. I'm sure that'll be fixed at some point. Okay, we can return to the playground now. We got the hat. We're not going to wear it because it's not Buford's style, but that's perfectly okay. We can just leave it in the closet for now. Uh, before we get the treasures, let me take a sip of my coffee at 11 in the evening. Oh, delicious. So I gotta get a treasure chest, and I think we gotta get 10 starfish. Uh, I didn't read the dialogue, so I don't exactly know what we're gonna do, but eh, not what we want. Although it is tempting to fight a money bags. Not exactly what we want. <laughs> I'll just finish this in five seconds, it's okay. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Okay, make that six seconds. Come on, I just need it. Yes! Okay, that, I'm, I'm satisfied. My dopamine has hit, hit the roof. <laughs> uh, play again. No, not Cog Thief. Uh, where is it? Oh, but I want to play Jungle Vines! Oh, my Jungle Vines. I'll let you guys know when I actually get the game. Like, uh, there's too many games that I, I love and I can't resist. Chaining the bananas. Yes! Oh, I missed that one. That's too bad. That's too bad. Uh, if anyone's interested, I actually made a retextured version of this uh, minigame. You can actually find it on another channel that uh, I can probably link down below. Uh, it's my old streaming channel. Uh, I actually made a retexture and I posted a uh, workup of it on that channel if you want to check it out. I'll probably have the video up in the top right corner of your screen. Uh, but for now, we're just looking for Treasure Dive. Finally, we got Treasure Dive. I always appreciated this music. It sounds a lot better in Corporate Clash, I'll be honest. I never understood why this was like the treasure dive music though, it's... It doesn't feel like I'm a pirate right now, you know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't feel right. It should be more like a sea shanty, if I'm gonna be honest. That was the only chest we needed, right? So I could just stop playing right now. <laughs> I, if you, if you didn't like catch on, I, I'm not a big fan of treasure dive. Uh, I don't remember what my opinions were on it when I made my first ever video about, about like, trolley games, but I just know that it's not my favorite. It's just a little too difficult to get that third one. If you hit a fish, then it's over. You can't, you can't get that third one. But hey, we're gonna try. We still got a lot of time. We can do it. We can do it. Come on, third chest. Third chest, come on. Buford's first third chest. Yeah, I got three seconds on the clock too. Nice. Right, have a sip of our coffee. Got the got the nameplate too, which is awesome. Uh, we can actually we didn't check the tumbles pose, so we may as well check that out too. Hold on, I didn't mean to do that. Um, let's check out the profile pose and let's check out this nameplate. Oh, tumbles is gone. All right, items and codes. So. Goodbye with the boring nameplate. We're throwing on under the sea, and it's it fits the theme too, which is awesome. Uh, so Buford will no longer think that things are stinky. We could use the upset one as well. I don't I don't think I showcased this either. This is what we got for defeating the Derek man. It does look pretty cool. Uh, or we could just do this one where he's <laughs> upside down. <laughs> Here, let's wear that one for now. Oh my gosh, it, I mean, look. <laughs> it's underwater, and it's it's with the theme, okay? Like, he's diving into the water, you know? But hey, now we can go and talk to Wade again. This isn't necessarily the end of the task, it doesn't seem like, because we have to turn into Wade. Alright, so now he wants us to talk to Dover, so that's the end of that line. So we won't talk to Dover yet. Uh, Dover is for the next episode, so since we have so much time left in this episode, I think we're gonna try and finish up some of these side tasks, so... 
we'll probably want to do that. We won't be doing the rest of this main task line, because there's a lot of little tidbits and stuff we have to do. Uh, so we're finally a, a, a real pirate with the pirate hat. We'll want to turn into a Choppy McDougal. Uh, did we get our gags? Yeah, we got our gags. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get the treasures from Mark Boyer. Let's do that real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and finally, ten. So that's the end of that. We'll go ahead and turn that in. Since everything's on Buc uh, Buccaneer Boulevard, we can just get all that turned in and figure out what we want to do. All right. First thing to turn in is this. So we got the starfish he wanted. Oh, that's right. It's to restock his shelves. And now he needs sewing needles. So now he needs a sewing needle to uh, presumably turn these starfish into a necklace. So what we want from that... Oh, small sewing needles from micromanagers, of course. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. I love that it's acknowledged that the needles are small. Just because micromanagers are holding it? Like, that's ridiculous. So we're going to try and get this necklace set up for this guy. Uh, next thing we want to do is look for micromanagers, but I think first thing on my agenda is to get those glad handers, because if I remember right, if memory serves me right, uh, to get the teleport access, you need to do a building. So I'm going to have to do another building. Hey, that's the end of the task. All right, we got some treasure. <laughs> oh my gosh. So he wants us to leave the treasure chests and <laughs> what, what do we get? Oh, I guess I don't get a choice. This rabbit gave me a trim, quote-unquote, a trim. I don't think Buford looks much different after that. I mean, this parlor really knows how to bring out Buford, I guess. But hey, I guess he gets to keep my treasure, so... Uh, we'll want to go and get our delivery from the mailbox. There's a lot of items that you end up getting from Barnacle Boatyard. You end up getting way more items from Daffodil Gardens, I think, though. Actually, no. Yield Toontown. Actually, yeah. Yield Toontown warrants the most items, I think, because you get the wooden sword, the conquistador's hat, the medieval wear, and what? What else? I can't remember what else you get from that, but hey, we got a new name tag for Buford. Look at that name tag. I think this is probably one of the best Bu uh, <laughs> I almost just said this is probably one of the best Bufords. Uh, well, he is, he is the goodest boy, I, I'd say, but this is probably one of the better name tags, I think. Uh, it's a really simple task, too. You just gotta fight 15 lawbots and get a treasure. It's pretty easy. It, it's almost as easy as, as a yield Toontown micromanager task, which you just have to fight 15 micromanagers, and, like, that's the end of the task. It's pretty easy. But, yeah. Easiest task in Barnacle Boatyard done. Alright, we can continue on. Uh, what else do we need to do? Let's see. Uh, we need micromanagers, gladhanders. So... Let's see, what else are we missing from our side task list? Oh, the salty spittoon. <laughs> Let's go do the boardwalk. We'll do the salty spittoon later. I need to get some friends. This Buford doesn't have a single friend, which makes me very sad. Buford needs friends. But hey, it's not required to get a friend in uh, Tune on Central, so hey, you can be friendless. You can do a friendless tune. I guess. We're looking for What's Up Doc. Uh, if you don't know, it's right next to the fishing pond. You can just find it here. Yeah, it's right here. This is also, if you watched my uh, Thanksgiving video, you actually talked to Darby Dry Dock in uh, the turkey task line, which is pretty cool. It's pretty interesting that you go back to uh, tunes that you talk to in side tasks. It's pretty interesting. All right, so what's on our agenda here? We gotta fight 15 cogs on Barnacle Boatyard. I'm assuming it's because he wants to clear up the docks. Uh, because his docks are very dry. So, let's see. We could do a building uh, with that, but I think we'll probably just save that for later. Because uh, we might as well fight those gladhanders. Yeah, we'll, we'll just pick that task up, and then we'll deal with it later. We may as well just get it while we're fighting these gladhanders. Because it's not specific to Lighthouse Lane, we'll want to look for Gladhanders on Anchor Avenue. It looks like there's boss bots primarily on this street. We might be able to get the Micromanager task done here as well. That would be kind of interesting. So Micromanagers and Gladhanders. So we'll keep look. We'll keep an eye out for those cogs. Um, for now, let's just look around. Let's see if we can find one. Hey, there's a Micromanager, but it's an EXE. 
Uh, let's see, Buford's gags are not good. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's see, 45. I can, I can handle 45, right, guys? I can handle 45. Let's see. I do need to train my bill. I just need one micromanager, so we might as well do it. I want a micromanager. Okay, so we'll fight the micromanager. And let's see if a gladhander spawns, because from what I'm seeing on the street, there are no gladhanders. So we'll go ahead and hit this cog. I'm surprised they don't have downsize. I mean, I know that's a downsizer specific uh, cog attack, but I feel like the micromanager would have it. Just because, like, well, actually, no, it's not a downsizer specific cog attack. That I think the headhunter has downsize. No, he doesn't. Wait, does he? No, he has, like, head shrink. I don't know what it's called. He definitely doesn't have downsize. That's, like, a scary amount of telemarketers on the street. <laughs> I, I'm just now noticing there's a lot of telemarketers. Uh, yeah, we don't need micromanagers anymore, so... I mean, it would have been nice to have a non-EXE micromanager earlier, but... Hey, Gladhander! Come here, Gladhander, you're mine! No invasions can start here, so you can't fly away from me. Okay. How about we just squirt gun the Gladhander? Okay, so that'll lower his defense. That is what I was getting at before. Um, I understand... Uh, no one commented this, but I understand why this is uh, making it easier. So, okay, so there's a 15% reduced dodge chance for non proceed squirt now, so that means uh, if you squirt a cog with non prestige, it actually boosts the chance that drop hits. So, in theory, this will hit. Hopefully. There you go. So that's why it's not stunning the cog, it's actually reducing the dodge chance, which is something I wasn't aware of because I didn't read the patch notes. <laughs> uh, I, I, look, I'm on the team. But, we don't- I, I'm not tech, you know? I'm not tech, and because I'm not tech, I don't always get the chance to read the patch notes. And because I'm not tech, I'm not, like, actively working on bug fixes, so that's their department, this is my department. Uh, honestly, you know, kudos to them for making that- making Squirt more viable, because, oh my gosh. Uh, having Prestige Squirt and having that buff- was really overpowered, but now that the buff is just with regular non-prestige squirt, it really makes prestige squirt less viable, but still pretty good, just because that debuff spreads to three other cogs, which is nice. It's really nice to have, so. Uh, just know that if you're training drop, make sure to squirt the cog, because that will really help your drop chance. So I need two more propellers. Uh, if we can get one more gladhander, then we'll, we'll be solid, I think. Oh, Smooze. I think that is actually his worst attack. I think Rubber Stamp is second, and then Smooze is his worst. Uh, so we can sandbag him now. This is this might miss. Okay, I did. So it really, really, really helps. We gotta thank one. Uh, you gotta really thank 1.2 for that. It really, really improved a lot of gags. It really helped a lot. I think 1.2. Like, really shifted the meta, which is really interesting. I'm really kind of glad that we're changing it up. And that uh, everything isn't so stagnant. Because it's really hard to balance gags. Okay, we got our laugh. Uh, let's see if there's any gladhanders. I'm sure one spawned while I was looking away. Uh, there's a lot of flunkies. There's a lot of flunkies, actually. There's so many. There's like four on this street. And there's a glad There's actually two gladhanders. All right. That's a score. No, he ran away! Why did we pick this spot of all spots? Wait. No. Wait, why'd he fly away? Ah, whatever. Uh, let's just tackle him a squirt. We, we almost have our next squirt gag, which is a uh, water balloon. I'm confident that we can get it next episode, actually. If I can time this episode well with, like, Gag Farming Friday, I could probably get it. Um, we're actually, what? We're like 46 away from our next gag. Um... I go ahead and throw a bowling ball at him. Yeah, we're pretty close. Oh, hello, name dropper. Hello, name dropper. 
Alright, they're squirted. The defense is low, that means I can drop them. Come on, don't miss. You have a 50% boost. Yeah! I love squirt so much. This is why I would never refund it. That defense boost is just so much, so much better than anything else. Oh, but we didn't get the propeller. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, it's too bad that that other Gladhander flew away. But we'll find another one. A whole bunch of cogs just flew away from that battle. Hey! Oh, it's the boss. It's the boss Gladhander. And his accomplice. The yes man. Please don't join the battle. Please don't join the battle. Okay. <laughs> I, I know that you're like the sidekick, but like, don't actually join the battle. I probably should have stocked up on laugh, actually. Okay, good. He didn't actually join. Alright, here we go. We're gonna drop him. Let's hope it doesn't miss because he's an EXE. Yeah! Drop never misses with Squirt. <laughs> never. Alright, that's looking good. What is that? 45? 45 more points to go? Alright, but we can go ahead and turn in now. Uh, we can turn into Fishy Frank and turn into ND Sky. Yep, 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 yep. So we gotta get our, what, Lightens? Get either Lightens, kill four, seven, seven level four cogs. Uh, that'll be pretty easy. We've actually almost completed this task, which is surprising. Um, but we'll turn into Fishy Frank and finish our side task. I think that's gonna be the last thing we do today. Uh, it is getting pretty late. Uh, I'm doing this episode pretty late in the day, so that's, you know, I probably want to go to sleep soon, so. Just gonna get this stuff out of the way here. Okay, Buccaneer Boulevard. Want to go there. Um, we'll probably want to restock, too, just so we can fight those EXE cogs real quick. Alright, with our gags all restocked, go talk to Fishy Frank. I think there's only one more thing that he wants us to do, uh, and I don't think it's that big a deal it's not a building or anything uh at least i don't remember i don't think it's a building okay oh yeah we're finishing an, an outfit not a necklace that's right okay so what did he say did he literally just say go fight cogs on the street <laughs> he said fight cogs on the street while i finish this outfit okay so while he's finishing that outfit uh, which is probably just gonna take two minutes, to be honest. I have to fight cogs. Oh, we need more thread. Okay, more thread. Uh, so... Actually, this pencil pusher fits the criteria for all of our tasks, so we might as well fight this pencil pusher. It's right outside of the building, anyway. Hopefully that micromanager joins, or even this flunky. Yeah, the flunky or the micromanager could join, theoretically. I wouldn't have a problem with it. Bowling ball! Oh, look at that! It missed while he was squirted. That's proof that it doesn't always work. Uh, anyway. It'll hit. It's gotta hit. This is prestige squirt, I think. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't know why it says prestige. It's not prestige. Uh, oh, we got it. Sweet. We can go turn in right now. Yeah, Buford squirt is not prestiged. Alright. There we go. And it's a cog building. Everything's a cog building. Uh, we'll want to save the cog building task for when we have to do another cog building for pilfering propellers, which is, I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. Uh, but pilfering propellers uh, also requires a cog building. So we'll line it up with that task when we get there. We need to fight three more executive cogs to finish the side task and we'll be all good. Um, that'll actually get us this as well. Uh, if we fight one extra cog, we can get this side test done as well. So, we'll want to look for executive cogs now. Oh, there's a bottom feeder. Fight the bottom feeder. Hey, buddy, I, I need you. Have another sip of my coffee at 12 in the morning at midnight. Having coffee at midnight is what I do. Hey, and the squirt missed. That's something to drink to. Oh, yeah. Alright. Hey, and that missed too. Okay, so the squirt gun hit this time. Uh, we could probably... What? 
we can't uh, sandbag bowling ball. So we might want to double bowling ball this. Or it could miss. Again, he's an executive. So it uh, it's understandably so. Oh, hello, Flunky. You are not what I wanted. <laughs> this bottom feeder is going to kill me. <laughs> um. Okay, so the Flunky... The Flunky can't do more than... 18 damage, it's fine. It's fine. This bowling ball just has to hit one more time, you know. Seven damage is scary. Seven damage is really scary. <laughs> oh my gosh, he did three damage. Uh, so this bottom feeder can one-shot me now. I'm gonna run away. <laughs> no thank you. <laughs> no thank you. So note to self, don't fight a level 5 EXE. We'll want to look for level 2 EXEs. I think. I think that's more Buford speed. Uh, I mean, we did fight a level 4 EXE earlier, but not everything missed on that one, so. Let's go ahead and get our gags again, and we'll see if we can fight some EXEs before the episode ends. It's getting close. The episode's getting real close to being too long. <laughs> I, I want to keep these episodes under half an hour, but sometimes they go over, and it's just like, ah, no, it's too much content. <laughs> That's too much content. Like, I can live with 15 minutes, but like half an hour? Like more than half an hour, like 40 minutes is like, oh my gosh. What am I doing in OCLO? What was that? A level 5 EXE, but I, 63 health. But I can't deal with 63 health. There's gotta be some lower levels to 3 XE. Okay, we can take that. We can tackle this problem. Gotta love a good Chadwad. And hey, the squirt hit. That's a good sign. Now, is the drop gonna hit? That's the question. Let's find out. Come on, drop. I know it's an EXE, but please. Oh, I hope that other Chadwad joins. No, he's too far away. He's too far away. Uh, any EXEs on the street? What's this? Hey, a level 2 EXE. That's more my speed. I'm just a little baby tune with little baby tune hands. I can't fight level 5 EXEs. That's too much for Buford. Okay, I'm glad that all the cogs that are running into this battle are not EXEs. Make all the regular cogs fly away. More chance for EXE. Alright, that's good. I wonder if there's something in the code that's written, so when it's guaranteed the cog's gonna die, another cog joins. I wonder if it's written in a way that if the cog is guaranteed dead in this turn, then it, there's more chance for a cog to join. I wonder if that's a thing. Because I feel like that happens more often than not. I think I only need- I think you're the last thing I need. Unless I, I'm missing something. Oh, hello, short change. Man, I really wish I had sound right about now. <laughs> if I had sound... If I had sound... I'm sure I'll get sound later on, though. I'm glad no other cogs can join. I think it's- the hard limit is set at two cogs in higher playgrounds. But if another two joins, then three can join. I think the hard uh, limit is two, though. Uh, no more than two can join a, a regular tune. Just a normal single tunes battle. And hey, our daily task is complete. There we go. Uh, and Darby Dry Dock. So we'll want to turn that in and we'll end the episode there. I've noticed that Barnacle Boatyard chapters are a lot shorter than Toontown Central chapters. Uh, because really you just visit one tune and you do some tasks for them. They tell you to go to another tune. You do some tasks for them and then that's it. Uh, in Toontown Central, you have to go back and forth a lot with tunes and other shopkeeps. Those chapters were a lot longer than these chapters, it feels like. Well, there's still holes and cracks all over the boardwalk. Okay, so the cogs are causing damage to the boardwalk. So this is why he wants us to fight cogs. So that makes more sense. Okay, so we'll want materials to fix the boardwalk. So he's going to have us talk to a woodworker in what barnacle yeah buck buck in your boulevard i was gonna say barnacle boatyard again i don't know why i keep doing that it's just so similar buck in your boulevard barnacle boatyard it's just really similar but yeah i think we're gonna end it in a shop again <laughs> so uh that was the video hope you guys enjoyed it we made some good progress uh we finished two side tasks and we got two new side tasks i think uh, if i remember uh yes yes we did so that was good uh, this is one of the last side tasks, aside from 
the Salty Spittoon, which is something we're going to deal with way later. Uh, it's one of the more difficult side tasks, uh, if not really tedious, because you have to fight several buildings in that task. But yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this Buford episode. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, and share with your friends. Make sure to subscribe to join the Hypno Party, and I've been Fargo. Stay hypnotized, folks. <laughs>